here we're at the, the home screen of the FitLite. Uh, this is the tablet that kind of controls everything uh, from, from the programs that you run to all, all the programs that you set up. So this will be where you start out. Um, this kind of gives you your, your strength of your signal to the, to the lights. So you always have to have these uh, green and, and highlighted and that gets you connected. You can change the amount of lights. We have, we have eight lights to set up for it. So in, in these sequences that we've shown, we've used all eight lights, but you can set up four different setups. So if you want two, one person to run in, in, or four different people to do the same, the same uh, activity, you can go here and then add lights to each group. So each group could have two lights so if you want to do like a down and back type running thing, you could have four people working on the fit light all at the same time. It'll give you the times that they all they all do um, for each each run and, and stuff like that. After that, we have um, all of our programs set up in here. You can you can set up new programs um, in, in this screen, and you basically just choose uh, what which light you want them to do, and then you can change the color uh, of that light. You can change the amount of time that the light stays on. Um, so if they don't swipe over it, for instance, right now it's set for five seconds, uh, the light will switch to the next to the next light. So like the drill that we were doing um, where Jason was running to the hurdles and back, we had the delay set up really high so, so that it didn't turn the next light on. After he swipes that light, this delay is what will control how long before that light comes on. With the really fast reactive drills, we want that, that delay to be all the, way, all the way down at the bottom. This is how you control the impact. So we had it at a low impact, so that's a light touch. You can change it all the way up to a really high impact, and that, that requires a lot of force to activate the, the impact when it's on the high setting. So we usually leave it at low. The distance is how close they get to swiping it. Um, so you can modify all these different things um, in, the, in the sequences here. So um, here's all the sequences we have set up. We run them through here. Um, we have one light that just comes on for 30 seconds that tells you to work, a sequence for a 300 yard shuttle, a five, 10, five yard shuttle, 60 yard shuttle. Uh, so you can set up different sequences and then save them in there so that they're there when you come back. This random training is the one that we use the most. You can kind of set it up uh, and all those ways that you make a program, but the lights still come on at random. So this is where you can control how many um, hits that they have have to do, uh, and that goes all the way up to 100 hits. Um, so we also have hand-eye coordination, uh, split time. This would be something like if they were running um, 100 yards, you could tell how far they were. You could set a light at each at 20 yards, and it would give you the split for each 20 yards that, that they hit a light. Uh, Hand-eye coordination is kind of similar to the random training. Um, you, don't, you don't get a lot of different modification in here. This one's more for uh, having the lights close together, like say on a box like this, and you would just use your hands rather than running back and forth to them. So that's kind of how you run through it. You can save athletes in here as well. Um, you, you can program it so after they run a time, you could save that time under their name in that database, and that would kind of give you something to refer back to. Uh, for when they run through the drill again to see if they're uh, improving or, or not.